Hey everyone, welcome to another episode here on my channel, Jin1ZX, and today it's not gonna be a tutorial. So as promised, this helmet right here is gonna turn into a motor vlogging helmet. Oh yeah. <music> Alrighty, so as promised, I'm gonna turn this helmet into one of my motor vlogging helmets by using some of these. An action camera right here. My mouth right here. This is a curved mouth. I already cut the part right here. You see there? On top. Because if I'm gonna put this or if I'm gonna mount this over to my helmet, there. Do you see that? part right here this is where the vent is located so once you pull that down there can you see it okay let me pull it up mm, there it's gonna be perfectly mounted right there on the chin together with that shape of the vent I went ahead and grabbed a grinder and shaped it like this so once I put that here on the chin it's gonna look well neat you need a couple of these once you got those two sugru out you must um, mush it up together like so right here if you can see it looks like clay it's moldable yes you can use it almost everything that you want to stick this one into once you put this onto your mount, you're gonna wait until 24 hours for it to cure. So by the time I stick this to my helmet, okay, molding it, trying to mush it up together to soften up. Right there. Stick it like that. And spread it out evenly for as much as you can. I hope this works though. I mean, the cut out. Otherwise, it's gonna look stupid. I don't want to look stupid. Who wants to look stupid, right? So I guess that is spread evenly, at least for me. Now, to stick it to your helmet, but first, let me wipe this off. It's filthy. Gross. Try to stick this in. I hope I get it right because if you got it wrong then you have to repeat the whole process plus you need to perfectly align it otherwise you're gonna have a bad angle for your camera So, I guess I did a pretty good job on this one, right there, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna cure this for 24 hours and I'll see you guys the next day, okay? And then we'll finish up all the setup, you know, attaching the GoPro, my external mic, and probably my Senna. So I'll see you guys after 24 hours then, okay? the 24 hours curing time is done let me show you the final uh, product that I have here so this is the finishing that I did on my LS2 rapid infinity helmet okay now that the mount is covered it's all set to go but now that is done all we need to do is to install all the stuff that is needed for my motor vlogging setup so I already told you guys of the things that I'm gonna need for it. A short mount buckle right here with two of these parallel uh, thingy stuff or whatever. I'm not gonna use my Hero 5 yet so I'm still gonna use my Hero 4 Black. Still useful, very reliable. 
and my mic adapter it's a GoPro mic adapter and one of my uh, lavalier mics so this is the external microphone that I use for my helmet it's a Comica brand right there I hope you guys can see it what's inside that box the Comica box right here you get the manual you get another mic adapter this one is attached to the mic foam muff foam muff okay foam muff for your microphone but I'm not gonna use this I'm gonna use this dead cat muff right here this one has a better wind resistance so less wind noise the better for your motor vlog but before I forget there's another thing that I'm gonna install so in case you guys are uh, still curious and still don't know what kind of Bluetooth communicator me and J Mac are using uh, we're both using the Senna brand me specifically I have the Senna SMH5 uh, but unfortunately this communicator only goes one to one meaning one is to one so what whichever you want you want to call it one is to one meaning you can only connect one communicator at a time so you really can connect this Bluetooth communicator with with other two Senna SMH5s if you want that you can have the Senna uh, 10s 20s Evo or even the Senna 30k if that is what you want if you have the money but for me this works fine it connects with my phone uh, it connects of course with with another SMH5 specifically when we're doing dual vlogs I use this one okay so uh, it, do it doesn't really matter uh, it's not a requirement for you to start off with your model vlogging career if you, if you don't have this all you need is your action camera and you have an external mic and then that's it uh, if you want to have a collaboration, a dual vlog, a trio vlog, or whatever vlog you want to have using the Bluetooth communicator, that is on you. There's a lot of Bluetooth communicators out there, specifically in Lazada, you can look for one and even on the mall, you can find one. It's much cheaper. This one is a bit expensive. You're gonna buy this over to a um, motor market. Uh, model world if I remember it correctly the price tag for this it's at 6,995 if I'm not mistaken so almost 7,000 oh. so if you're gonna buy one on Lazada you could probably cut down the price into at least a quarter of the price of the Senna SMH5 but enough of that let's just install all of this stuff on my helmet okay so before you can actually install all of this specifically the Senna you got the mic here and the speaker and also your external mic right there the GoPro is easy to install because I already have the mount here the tricky part about this helmet is that this one has a neck roll here this is the neck roll so before you can actually remove this you need to at least have something like a metal 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 thingy right here is an analog key I'm gonna use it later for my Senna installation but first before we could even do that wait let me get some rag I don't want this helmet to get some scratches all over yeah okay, I got a green rag just like Kawasaki oh yeah I hope you guys like my uh, my new bike, my 2018 Ninja 400. It's an awesome bike, by the way. Under the helmet, there's this little tabs. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. If you own one, you would probably know. So all you need to do is try to pull that uh, metal ring or guide, whatever. So I hope you can see it. There you go. There's one right there and another right here. Then pull that out. There's another one, I think there's a couple more right there. So just to try to pull it gently. Okay, there's one and another. Then there's gonna be another one right here. Okay. Alright, so neck roll has been removed. 
now it's time to install our microphone and our Senna. There you go. It took a bit uh, long, but it's all in there. The Senna has been installed at the side as usual. Here's my uh, mic, and all of the wirings are right underneath this um, discussion right here behind that. Both speakers are, of course, installed in the left and right side of the helmet. I'm gonna test that one out once this is all done and then we're gonna take back this neck roll so this one's gonna be a bit complicated the Senna is getting in its way so I gotta make sure that I get this tucked in properly <laughs> You go now to put in my GoPro. All right, so there you have it. It's all installed on this Rapid LS2 Helmet Infinity Graphics Senna GoPro external mic right in there it's all good it's looking quite awesome as of now so all I need to do now is remove this film take a picture and put it as my thumbnail for this video I hope you guys like this um, this setup if you're starting out dude if you have the money or the investment to have a GoPro go for a GoPro but if you're starting out and just you know trying to feel the groove about motovlogging you might as well try different brands first okay so don't go straight to GoPro but if you're really confident that you want to have the GoPro just go then just buy it so I'm gonna remove the film and try to see what it looks like dropped it so here's the final setup I hope you guys like it sorry if I keep looking on my left side because I'm actually looking at my phone <laughs> trying to look if it's any good so see it right there <laughs> here's the final setup Senna SMH5 GoPro Hero 4 with the uh, Komika uh, lavalier mic setup so I hope you guys like this one it really looks cool it really looks badass I'm gonna use this on my Ninja 400 soon or maybe on my next motor vlog but I'm gonna upload another vlog which still uses my uh, my old helmet and that is the Zeus helmet the matte one this is gonna be the new motor vlogging setup for me for my Ninja 400 and I also want to announce that we've already hit the 5,000 subscriber count yay way to go guys so I think the meet and treat will be on the go for sure I don't know the place yet I'm gonna set up a meet and greet here in Laguna and maybe just maybe I don't know I'm not really sure yet. maybe I'm gonna have another one located in Manila but 
me and J Mac are still thinking of some place where we could actually do the meet and treat. So, with that, I want to thank you guys for supporting this channel. You're all bad asses because you're you're a lot. There's a lot of you. You have like five thousand so asses, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so next up is we're gonna head down the road for the 10k subcount. Okay. Once we get to the 10k subcount, I'm gonna give one of the lucky subscribers with this helmet. Not this one, okay? But this one. This one. I actually got this for free when I bought my Ninja 400 bike at Kawasaki Crib. So there's no use for me to have this because I already got tons of helmets. Like I got the LS2, the Zeus, the empty helmet. Actually I, get, actually, I got two Zeus helmets, so there's no need for this one. So, the size, I don't know the size of this thing, but I wore it once and it's really loose. So, as soon as we hit that 10k, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up on how you're gonna win this one. Shit, I keep on hitting my new helmet with this helmet. Now that is done, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and support Pinoy or local model vloggers, guys, okay? And I'll see you on the next one.